We've been talking and the guys in uh, the commentary box have certainly been talking about the 30-year anniversary of Ronnie's first big victory. Now, this goes back to 1993 in this very championship when he turned up as a 17-year-old, fresh-faced, not really very well known. And what transpired thereafter against the world number one and the reigning world champion effectively changed snooker forever. Ladies and gentlemen, 17 years of age, the youngest player ever to appear in the United Kingdom final, Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> Will you welcome, please, the world number one and reigning world champion, Stephen Hendry. Can you believe it's 30 years since you beat me in the, the final of the UK Championship? Oh no, it's your, mad, doesn't it? Your first ranking title. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel that long ago, really. It's sort of, for me, it just doesn't seem that long ago. Wow. Superb performance, 17 years of age and not showing any nerves. When you went into that final, um, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm not picking myself up at all, but you're playing the world number one. Stephen delights the audience this time, stops the rot. You weren't no fear, whatever, because I, I'm going from my side. It's probably the first final I played in where actually quite my opponent intimidated me, which I always intimidate everyone else. Um, obviously, like, you know, like, just, I was just happy to be there. I think, you know, like, um, first year as a pro, I didn't really win any matches at the venue, so th th that was like the beginning of the season. I, I played you in the semi finals in Dubai, the tournament before you beat me 6 2. Um, and then obviously, I'd, you know, I kind of got through the rounds at the UK and then obviously got to play you in the final. For me, I'd, I'd, I was just happy to be there, to be honest with you. You know, obviously, I wanted to win and I think, yeah. you know, I just played my natural game. I, I didn't think I was going to win, but I just went out there and just tried to enjoy the occasion, you know. Andrew will come out fighting. He'll need to because Ronnie O'Sullivan leads him by six frames to two at the interval. How do you think your game's changed from that? Do you think do you think you're a better player now than you were then? What what's the differences between now and then? I don't know really. I think uh, I think I'm a bit more rounded player now. You know, a bit more. I don't take so many chances. Maybe I was. Quite aggressive. I think you are when you're younger. You just mm. go for shots. Full blooded into the reds from Ronnie. You don't think of the consequences, um, but as you get a bit more experience, you think mm, maybe it's yeah. not wise to go for that one. You know, just, <laughs> just be a bit more patient. So I think he changes the player, and, and I think yeah, you try and be a bit more of a tidy player. Did you grow up looking at the, the UK Championship, the World, and the Masters as like you were, you, you really wanted to win? Um, I'm different to you, you know, I think you had this focus to just go, I want to beat Davis' record and that would have frightened life out of me if I thought I'd got to try and win seven world titles. I was just happy to be one at one stage, so for me I was just always hanging on, you know, just uh, I, I think I had uh, quite a lot of self-doubt, I think you just had like an amazing self-belief, um, which must be great to have. So that's a good effort by Stephen, he kept Ronnie in his chair. Seven frames to four. So for me, I, I never thought I was going to win until I'd actually won, you know. So to start thinking, oh, I'm going to win this and do well in that, you know, I'd like to do well and win, win the big tournaments, but, um, you know, it always seems like it could be on a knife edge. You know, if someone plays well against you, you're going home, you know. It's one of them games, you know. Stephen Hendry will shake his hand. I know he admires Ronnie's play. We all do. A wonderful, wonderful exhibition by this young man. His first ever major tournament, the UK Championship, and he's done it in so much style. Ten frames to six. You wouldn't have thought then you're going to win six more. You're going to win 40 ranking tournaments. Then that, that was your first one. Not at all, no, no. No, not in a million years. You know, you had John Higgins, Mark Williams, you had you, there was John Power, you know, Steve Davis. So many good players, and you think, you know what, you know. Just to beat one of them guys is an achievement, but to try and win, to yeah. beat two or three of them in the same event. So, yeah, I think I was always crippled by a bit of self-doubt, you know, so I think I never really had that much confidence in myself. 
Well, 30 years later, I'm not playing anymore. You're still at the top of the game. Unbelievable achievement. I don't know how long it can go on though, you know, sometimes you think, no, it's just hard, it's a hard game, isn't it? But I think I just try and enjoy it now. Right. You know, I'm just happy to get out of the house, you know, come and see the lads at the tournament, <laughs> see, see a few friends. Do you still get a bit of butterflies coming in big tournaments like this? Yeah, yeah, I think I get butterflies in sort of every event, because I still want to play well, you know, when you've got a crowd there and you're playing players, there's a bit of pride there, you know, and some of the opponents really want to beat you, so you kind of, your competitive nature kicks in, so yeah, I really still want to do well. Most talented player the game has ever seen. This ninth UK Championship final. It's a lot harder to, to win matches now than it ever was for me. You know, like you know, I have to really play well to, to get a result. That's amazing to see you still playing <laughs> as well as you are. All the best. It's great to see you here. Great to see you, Ben. Thanks, Dave. we're going to see so much of this young man in the next few years.